People are thinking Cena is being humiliated by Hollywood on purpose for fame and fortune. John Cena, yesterday at the Oscars, was doing his humiliation ritual. John started wearing dresses in public and was seen many times looking feminine. Show me one person that ever wore a dress in Hollywood unsuccessfully. I, uh, changed my mind. I don't want to do a streak of it. I just don't feel right about it. Is this the same John Cena the world used to know? Hollywood is pushing some of the biggest celebrities closer and closer to the edge. Fans are concerned for John Cena after seeing him out in these bizarre and very off-putting outfits. And then again seeing him present at the Oscars fully nude and embarrassing himself. Some people question whether John Cena is going through some humiliation rituals. So let's get into it. <music> If you aren't subscribed to the Let's Get Into It podcast, then you're only getting half the tea. For longer videos, deep dives, and of course, more of me, subscribe to the Let's Get Into It podcast listed in the description below. The entertainment industry is a dark place. We know this. And we see some of our favorite celebrities in bizarre situations that don't make sense. Some of these are known as humiliation rituals, where the elites put these celebrities in their place by forcing them to do things that just no normal person would want to do. One of the latest examples I could think of is Sam Smith. And I would hope that they are forcing them to do that because whatever, you know, Sam is up to is definitely wrong. But recently at the Oscars, there was a weird moment involving John Cena. There was a skit that Jimmy Kimmel put together, which I'm not a really big fan of Jimmy Kimmel. There's actually some like old stories about him that have been so buried. I haven't been able to find them. So if you guys can give them to me because we've made videos about Jimmy before, but they're supposedly even worse out there. Nonetheless, he made this scene up with John Cena, which John Cena does have a great body. I mean, you can't deny that. But the joke was that back in, you know, at a former Oscar event, there was a nude man who ran across the stage. So they were kind of mocking that moment and trying to at least get some attention. But people were asking at what cost, because this entire scene is just uncomfy. Now, he wasn't completely naked. He had like some tan little like diaper looking thing on but very little to you know really give that illusion on the sides and everything that he had nothing but this big card this report writes his crack was covered in the back and then the envelope was velcroed on there so it wouldn't fall but beyond that he was naked we're definitely gonna be blurring some of these pictures so please our editor i would love for you to blur this um, even though he does have a great physique. I mean, how old is John Cena? 46 years old. I mean, I can only hope that I look like that at 46. I mean, I'm trying to like, you know, start there, but <laughs> that is years of working out. Of course, a lot of people believed that John was actually fully nude. There were some moments and photos going viral on Twitter, but they corrected that he did not go fully nude because he had this little flap of fabric. But I do question, I mean, what was really going on? Looking at the stage, I mean, they were undressing him and dressing him right away in front of tons of people. So definitely embarrassing. I, I wouldn't feel comfortable. Now, Jimmy Kimmel has spoken about this since the Oscars, and he described the intense discussions about the size of the envelope to cover John Cena. Jimmy said there were meetings and side meetings, there were emails and texts and phone calls, there were people sweating, somebody was crying. Once they realized we weren't going to take no for an answer, I guess that John Cena must appear naked, which it's like kind of, I don't know, no for an answer. It's like, okay, maybe I won't you know, then announce at the Oscars. I just, I don't think I want to be in that position. He was kind of a laughing stock to some people. Well, other people, you know, they find it charming and they think he's hot and, you know, we must acknowledge that. He said there were intense discussions about the size of the envelope and whether we needed to Velcro it to John's body or whether we had to fill his crack and have socks. Various Tescalia was discussed. Okay, the, the entire fit is a little bit, he's walking so uncomfortably, like he's like praying this little piece of Velcro does not fall off of him. Costumes 
costumes. Yeah, and with the Birkenstocks, I cannot. They are so important. Maybe the most important thing there is. I I, I can't open the envelope oh without God. the. The nominees for best costume design are. Now, when I saw this watching the Oscars, I thought of the Barbie movie because everything has been Barbie focused. And, you know, it kind of makes sense if he just had like, what if he pulled up the envelope and there was nothing there? It's giving very much Barbie. But that's kind of how they justified it, especially when it comes to following some of these standards and policies, What you know, that involve live tv you can't just like appear nude like that one streaker did at the oscars and that's what they were kind of trying to honor which is a weird moment i mean there's so much in the industry that you're going to take a moment to honor the streaker from an oscars like you know a few decades ago now let's get to the darker side of everything here because there are theories that john cena's oscar skit was a satanic ritual which i don't know if i want to say like satanic but the humiliation makes sense this report writes john cena's recent appearance at the oscars has sparked controversy with social media users accusing the renowned actor and former wwe champion of participating in a alleged Illuminati initiation ritual. John Cena's comical and nearly naked presentation during the prestigious event has ignited reverent discussions with some suggesting that it aligns with a purported humiliation ritual that aspiring members of the secret society must undergo. I like how they bring up Sam Smith because they write, first it was Sam Smith for their so-called satanic performance at the Grammys. Even the Church of Satan slammed conspiracy theorists for keep taking the bait from award shows and being so passe. Now, John Cena has been accused of performing a humiliation ritual at the recent Oscars. First, it was the dress, now this. Watch his career take to new heights now. It's what they have to do. It's part of the timeline. Another person wrote, he completed the humiliation ritual and will become even more famous with more money roles offered to him. Hmm, okay. A third added, guests who recently sold their soul, child memories shattered. Though some people are arguing about this they write those who deem this as a humiliation ritual should ditch the tin foil hats and embrace the comedic entertainment john began the awards for best costume design costumes are designed starting from scratch with nothing on it get it i kind of agree with this person yeah he's so humiliated with everyone looking at his huge muscles and abs must be so embarrassing for him so uh yeah i mean he does look good so i don't there's nothing really humiliating on that front but he is a grown man and he is at a very prestigious event and he probably wants to be taken seriously and i don't think you can when you look like that but maybe you can i mean those muscles are serious did john cena just perform a humiliation ritual at the 2024 oscars cena would walk out in front of everyone with simply a cardboard box covering what people don't want to see is this the same john cena the world used to know at the beginning of 2023 john started wearing dresses in public and was seen many times looking feminine people were already starting to wonder and then he would go on to make only fans in one of his only fans videos you can see john's eyes looking sad people are thinking cena is being humiliated by hollywood on purpose for fame and fortune not only did cena close to embarrass himself at the oscars but he did it in front of his ex-wife nikki bella in the audience many celebrities were left uncomfortable after this bit at the oscars especially the thought of john cena's fan base being very young this has wrestling fans and Cena fans wondering what's going on, and if this is the John Cena we're used to seeing. Liz Crokin, a fervent QAnon supporter, so I don't know if I like that. Actually, I believe this is the same woman who created a documentary and used my footage without my knowledge, and I was really upset about it. But don't quote me on that. I'm pretty sure, though, I know this name. But she said that this joke was disgraceful and that children are watching the Oscars and it is humiliation at its finest. She said it's not just humiliation. The Hollywood P words, R words, and pervs are certainly getting off to this. I'm sure Jimmy Kimmel is as well. These people are sick. I agree with part of this. She also included, let's not forget that Jimmy Kimmel had Tom Hanks do a skit on his show you know, being inappropriate to little girls where he called a child a sexy baby and had her sing Talk Dirty to Me. Jimmy also ran another skit on a show featuring an FBI identified P word symbol in it and a pizza, which pizza is code for, you know, people who are into children and this has been confirmed by the fbi and the doj at least that's what these people are alluding to i haven't actually seen any records but i kind of think the whole like pizza you know symbol that's been you know a thing for a long time which makes me sad because i actually do really enjoy pizza but like 
again, I'm not trying to, I'm not putting any pizza signs up here or anything, but like a good slice of thin crust cheese pizza. I'm actually, you guys are hate me for this, but I even like the Hawaiian one, like when they have the pineapples on it and the, the pork meat, I don't know, <laughs> bacon or whatever. So good. I know you guys are going to be like, oh no, we don't like pineapple on pizza. I actually do like it. I just like pineapple, especially when it's cooked down like that. This person wrote, congratulations on John Cena completing the initiation hazing and becoming the newest member of the Illuminati. Another person added, all of them are just sellouts. John Cena did this humiliation ritual at the Oscars. These men are not masculine and they have no morals. They bow to their gatekeepers okay some of these people are taking it a little bit too q anon i mean let's just like talk about the facts that doesn't gatekeepers please another person wrote john cena is a fool for his oscar stint keep degrading yourself at the hands of these p words again we can't say certain things on youtube i'm hoping you guys kind of understand the lingo at this point but another person brought up Cat Williams, who we've talked about on this channel, and said that he was absolutely right. But like when I when I be like, uh, oh, these guys are wearing dresses. And everybody's like, oh, he keeps talking about people wearing dresses. No, that is a weird. Thing. It's not like that. Look at it from a different way. Look at it. Show me one person that ever wore a dress in Hollywood unsuccessfully. That's how you understand what a ritual is. Mm. Just I had gotten so much information that I understood the that things are secular. So I knew that in the ritual of Baphomet, to show allegiance to him, you had to kiss his ass ring. Really? And it said both of those things. So I knew that both of those things will become popular in the future. Now, if we're gonna talk about all this controversy, I guess we can include Andrew Tate, which if you guys want a video about Andrew Tate, I've been thinking about it, maybe a podcast episode. If you guys aren't subscribed to my podcast, check it out below because we are popping off on the podcast channel maybe i'll do a deep dive on him if you guys want but andrew tate actually decodes john cena's nude oscars 2024 look and he of course suggests that this was another humiliation ritual he said that john is now going through some kind of initiation which includes performing shameful acts in public he's also been seen wearing a large dress online i am not subscribing to andrew tate and what he believes in and everything but i think it's important to hear certain things out and Let's hear what he has to say. I want to make something clear. I was saying this morning on Twitter how John Cena, yesterday at the Oscars, was doing his humiliation ritual to satisfy his gay paymasters. And everybody's saying, oh, maybe he's just promoting a movie. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Let me tell you something. I don't care what movie I'm in. You could not convince me to do that. You could not convince me to do anything fruity or weird. It doesn't matter what movie I'm in because there's no need. I can promote it other ways. I won't do it because my principles are too strong. So to say he's only promoting a movie is still agreeing with me. You're saying he's promoting his movie for money because he sold a soul to his gay paymaster. Well, he was pretending to be an OnlyFans guy as the character of the movie and releasing OnlyFans content. All right now, okay, let's let, let's chill on the whole like, gay paymaster. Like, I haven't heard this theory before. I'm gonna have to go and check in with my people and see what's going on. This person wrote, John Cena is going through an intense Illuminati humiliation ritual right now. This is next level stuff they've put John through lately. Was the fame and fortune worth it, John? This person added, you can't deny this anymore. This is a Hollywood humiliation ritual. They got John Cena to do this in the Oscars. If you don't believe this is not a real thing, you are definitely clueless. This person tweeted, look who's wearing a skirt for a newly released movie, John Cena. It's called humiliation ritual remember what cat williams said show me one person that ever wore a dress in hollywood unsuccessfully that's what you'll understand what a ritual is which i also want to keep in mind he was like john cena was a wrestler right a box wrestler wwe wrestler so um hmm i mean like that they wear like little things and they're fighting men on men like i don't think he's someone who's so insecure with his body or you know putting himself out there especially if he was a fighter for so many years i just want to give my two cents there because i don't i think that john cena is like maybe a different case but then again in his boxing wrestling years i'm sorry in his fighting years he wasn't wearing like little skirts and heels and maybe it is different i mean i <laughs> there's a reason why we're making this video i mean check out this next clip and look at the outfits he's wearing because it makes me question really my own belief on everything here can you guys guess who this is if you said john cena you were right this is the same person i mean i personally think that he's rocking the heels and the little plaid skirt really well he's actually on set of a movie called ricky stanicky so maybe a humiliation ritual, maybe this is just another side of John that we're not ready to accept. Rod Rimestead, trained actor, how can I help you? 
Hi, Gene, I remember you. A gig? Let me, uh, you know what? Let me just check my schedule. <laughs> yeah, man. Looks like I'm free. So really, there's a lot to unpack here. I mean, here's The Rock, right? So, um, an address. So, uh, it does seem like there is a common theme. And that's why I want to make this video, because I thought it was a weird moment and something we can all reflect on. So, I want to hear what you guys think in the comments below. I have just been chilling. Let's do a little check-in. I'm drinking a lot of water. I'm not trying to get sick, because the guy that I've been hanging out with is not feeling well. Oh but at least I'm the best person to like be around that because you know, I like to nurture, I like to take care of. So everything will be all right. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Stay safe and stay healthy and I'll see you in a new one soon. Bye guys.